Hello and welcome to this week's Monday Morning Musing. It's going to be quite a quick one today, I think, because uh, I didn't get many questions at all, so I've got nothing to waffle about. But, first off though, uh, the weather. Well, it's been it, it's been quite a snowy weekend here in uh, here in Manchester, but unfortunately it's all gone now, but it's still a bit nippy, so there you go. Uh, right, uh, as some of you may have noticed yesterday, I put up a poll for my wargaming life. I thought I'd mention this first before everybody switches off. Um, I'll put a link in. The link should come up somewhere there as I'm speaking, but it'll be also down in the, the comments uh, to the video, and you can go and vote. Basically, it's for February 2016. We're going to have a community project every month on uh, my wargaming life. Basically, just a little little bit of fun, just for to to, to just to get people to try new things or do something or just get involved with something. Uh, no prizes, just a just a thing. Um, so that's that. Uh, now I. I have somebody did tell me it's Chris said that uh, adblock was preventing him from voting. Well, uh, if that's the case, just disable adblock on that uh, particular video and vote. Although to be honest, I use adblock and um, I went and had a look myself and I switched my adblocker on uh, for YouTube, reloaded the page, but I was able to vote, so it might not be adblocker stopping you. It might be something else. It might just be that you need to upgrade or it's your browser or something. Upgrade to Flash Player or whatever it is, or your browser. But um, just just while we're on the subject of adblock, what I do, and this is me, is uh, like I say, I have adblock myself, and um, the po the point of adblock was to is to block uh, those things where, where where you go to a website and it's just like add 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 add, add and flashing and all that sort of stuff. That was the principle behind it initially. And they set out, and I and I support that principle because there's nothing more irritating than loads of flashing adverts all over the page. Uh, so I installed AdBlock, but on that caveat, uh, you can actually disable AdBlock for certain websites, and I have it disabled on YouTube because the simple fact that the adverts on YouTube aren't that bad, to be honest. They don't you know? I mean, you can get rid of them. I mean, you only have to watch the video ones for three seconds is it and then you can click out of them or skip out of them and the ones that come up in the bottom uh, you just click the X on them when they appear and to me that's no hardship because I know that uh, some of the revenue of that is going to um, the video producers uh, and at the end of the day that's the reason why a lot of them are going to uh, what is it patron or going behind the subscription wall on YouTube for paid videos if people didn't block all the ads then on YouTube, then uh, YouTube wouldn't have introduced the subscription levels like YouTube Red. But there you go, that's my view. So, disable your ad, ad, ad blockers on YouTube and support the content creators. And, and another thing is, a lot of times, that uh, you can't put your video up unless you have adverts, because if, like me, you use a bit of music at the end, uh, I don't own that music, it's owned by somebody else. So, they... Um, Put ads up anyway to sort of give the revenue to that sort of uh, person, the person that wrote the music. There you go. That's that's my view and uh, my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions, so that's mine. Anyway, uh, there will be sometime in the next couple of days another video about a, another community project that we're going to be doing on my wargaming life. Uh, it's a a bigger project. And it's absolutely fantastic. And uh, but you just have to watch out for that video. It's going to come out. I might actually put it out today. I don't know. It's, it's all ready to go. It's just a case of I don't want to sort of fill everybody's uh, feeds up with uh, videos saying you know do this, do that. But uh, it's going to be a good project. I'm, gonna, I, I'm looking forward to it. It's quite interesting. Um, it's and I think it's one that everybody can get involved in. It's brilliant. Uh, anyway. That's the last I'm going to mention in my wargaming life until the end, where I remind you all about it. But uh, there you go. Uh, right. Uh, oh, yes. The other week I had a question about um, metal spears. I don't know whether you remember. 
but uh, here's a little video because actually in a, I said in that video something and I'm just going to prove the point so uh, run VT and let's have a look as I was saying uh, uh, I had a little accident with this chap now it's funny that we were just talking about metal spears the other week and how I actually made the throwaway comment you'll take the hand off before the spear will break and uh, this chap fell off the shelf while I was uh, moving something and uh, as you can see I broke the hand off him before the spear broke so that sort of like proves my point <laughs> a bit there on the strength of these things so um, I just have to glue that back on and hope that uh, he doesn't fall off the shelf again so there you go uh, like I said the <laughs> spears the sp metal spears are quite good uh, you're gonna break the you're gonna break the arm off the miniature before you'll break the spear. Anyway, right. Uh, the other thing is I keep looking over here because we lists here. Um, the other thing is the black powder results. Uh, I haven't done the draw yet because I haven't had time to go through all of the all of the videos. You see, you have to, there had to be a count. You have to do more more than five videos over the whole challenge. So, well, not five videos, five postings to my wargaming life. Um, and we just counted them all up at the minute, uh, and then we all sort of get the get the draw done for the non warlord stuff. Because, like I say, I'm not in control of the warlord vote. That's warlord and uh, Steve Miniature Maniac. Uh, it's all his stuff. But for my bit, the Calpe, the Bacchus, and the um, front rank, we'll uh, we'll get that done. We'll get it done in the next week, so, so we can at least tell everybody. Uh, who's won? The uh, one thing I will say on that is it's going to probably take quite a while for the prizes to come out because the companies that we're dealing with are quite small and um, you know they're not like big major multinational corporations. So that everything gets cast up by by order, I think. So there you go. Anyway, uh, next thing: questions. Questions. I only, like I say, I only got one question from the comments last week. So. Uh, I don't know whether you lot are conspiring not to ask questions anymore because you're fed up with me waffling. But uh, anyway, we've got one from Graham, Graham Collin. He asks, if I was getting into World War II gaming, bolt action, flames of war, etc., uh, what nation would I choose, what period, early, mid or late war, and what theatre? Well, as I said in reply to him, that's a no-brainer for me. It would be the uh, North African campaign, um, and just let me get rid of this. Yeah, it's just a uh, one of them bloody sales calls. Never mind. Um, so anyway, it's thrown me off my thought there. Oh, what was it? Yes, the North Africa campaign. Uh, I wouldn't pick any particular side, uh, whether it be the Allied or the Axis forces. Um, because uh, I've probably collected both sides. In fact, I, I have I have been slowly getting rid of my uh, North African Fifth Flames of War stuff. Not for any other reason other than the fact that I need to fund my Napoleonic addiction. and uh, So I'm selling bits and pieces of the Flames of War stuff off. And um, giving bits and pieces to people that I know want them or need them. So uh, I'm slowly lowering that aspect. This is all part of my campaign to just focus on a few things, you know, like the Warhammer, um, the Warhammer stuff. Not 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 necessarily Age of Sigmar, but Warhammer, Old Hammer, and um, Napoleonics, and now the the uh, late Roman period. But it's funny that I quite like the North African uh, theatre, not just because of uh, the, f the fact that um, People that I knew as a child actually served in that particular theatre and in southern Italy and southern Europe uh, after that because most of the, um, well, I think the first armour went up to up through Italy, didn't it? I can't I, I can't actually quote that because I don't know, but um, that's, that's the people that I knew were in that uh, division. Um, so they... You know, they, they, they've regaled me with stories of uh, the funny things that happened. Um, not necessarily, not the nasty things that happened, but the funny things and the and, and the humour and the, uh, the 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 life of um, sitting in a tin can 
uh, for the about four years or whatever it was that they that, that the people I know were serving for. Um, so that's why, mainly because it's something that I've always known about and it's always been talked about at home as a child and and you know so and it, that's why. But it's funny that you know my Eastern European, my Eastern uh, Russian uh, Russian Romans like senility senility is, is striking me. I'm not even fifty. Um, the 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 late Roman stuff that I'm doing a lot of that history that I'm reading about. Is heavily influenced by the North African situations that that, that occurred during the late uh, empire. You know, with the rise of uh, uh, the Islamic tribes in, in in the Middle East and the pressure that they that that, that the um, Fatimid Empire, the pre-Fatimid Empire, I should say, put on to the uh, the occupation and settlement of uh, of Egypt and. Tunisia and all that, all, all along that sort of northern coast and the trade routes. Now it affected the empire in the, in the east, and eventually, as we you know, the whole empire then it split. And do you know what I mean? So it all seems that that the stuff that I quite like reading about it all involves that part of the world. Coincidence? Yeah, probably. Anyway, so that's. I hope that answers your question, Graham. Like I say, I wouldn't pick any side. I wouldn't be German. I wouldn't pick just the German side. I wouldn't pick just the on well, the German, the Allied, the Axis side, and or just the Allied side. Um, I'd, 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 I'd pick both, and I did. Uh, like I say, I'm getting. I've, I've been unloading a lot of that stuff to pay for my uh, my uh, Polyonics, my now uh, late Romans. And the old hammer stuff that I that I quite like. So that's it. Um, that's it for the questions. There's not a lot else to muse upon. Uh, like I say, don't forget go and go and click the little X. I think it might be an I now. If you put your mouse over the I, you can go and see the video about the poll for my wargaming life and jump on that. Like I say, we've got another one coming out. I might put that out today or in the next day or two. We've also got the results to come for the um, black powder things from. From the My War Gaming Live side, that's the Calpe, Bacchus, and Front Rank stuff. The Warlord stuff's nothing to do with me. So um, that's it then for this week. I'll catch you next week. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>